when we cook our food at home, we never stop to think where this food in our hands has come from. My name is Michael Kirwa. I'm a farmer in Kenya. The climate has changed for the last 10 years. It is now getting worse and worse. During planting season, we don't have enough rain, but the rain comes at the wrong time when we are almost harvesting. Climate change has brought great challenges in wheat production. New diseases have appeared which we were not used to, and also the water availability from the rain has become a challenge because it is less and it comes at the wrong time. We took up the challenge and decided to apply nuclear techniques to develop a new strain of wheat that is drought tolerant and that can withstand the new types of diseases. Although it took us about three and a half years, we were able to identify a plant that was resistant to the new races of stem rust, and it was also tolerant to drought. The demand for the seed is unsatiable. We are not able to satisfy the demand for the seed by the farmers. I foresee that in the medium term, most of the land that is planted wheat will be this variety. But the farmers do not just need good seed. This good seed must grow on good soil and they must have sufficient water. My job here is to find out the best planting technique that can be adopted by farmers in water-limited conditions. We are using the nuclear technique to evaluate different planting technologies that can be adopted by different farmers. We are able to know where water is being lost more than uh, in other, other planting techniques. When we are talking about water management, that is where nuclear techniques like the neutron probe, moisture sensors, the nutrient sensors come into play. It will tell the farmer when to apply water or irrigate and when not to, and therefore helping them manage their water much, much better. Tangu kuanzia masomo hii nimefaidika. Nimepata uyusi mingi ya kulima kuliko wakati wa, wa nyuma nilipokuwa nalima. Na The lack of water has caused a conflict between the farmer, the herders, and the wildlife. And also, uh, our economy has gone down because we cannot now 
have a big land for irrigation because there's no enough water. Poverty levels are rising in the country because we have land but no enough water to irrigate the land and yet now we don't have enough food to supply to our community. The water resources in the country right now are very stressed and we are facing a drought. The latest information is that we shall be facing our fifth uh, failed rainy season, which is only going to make the situation worse. Kenya is a water scarce country. 80% of the country is semi-arid, so the government requires to find out where the sources of water is and also the recharge areas so that they are protected for future use and also for proper management of the water. What has been built here, as you can see behind me, is a, is a wall, one is a wall, but two, we also have um, an, an intake system. So we have two intake systems going different ways, and that is to ensure that we are providing water to two different communities to avoid any conflict in the area. So each community gets an equal share, and as you can see, there's still some water flowing within the river. So that means we've allowed the environmental flow which is important for people downstream, as well as the wildlife that use depend on the water. Kenya, like many African countries, is struggling to grow the crop it needs in the face of climate change. There is no one perfect solution, but nuclear techniques are helping to give Kenyan scientists and farmers the precise information and tools needed to squeeze every drop of water and every inch of growth out of this beautiful land. IAEA and FAO are working with scientists in Kenya and all over the world to help farmers adapt to climate change. Nuclear science and technology help increase crop yield, protect water resources, and feed people. Climate is not getting any better. If we want to survive, we must learn to survive with even less water and more severe conditions. Things look bleak sometimes, but science gives us hope.